Over 100 years ago, a man named Steve Ragsdale and his wife got stuck on the single lane road in the middle of the desert. They would later come back to this area and create a town called Desert Center. In 1921, there weren't many paved roads and the cars often broke down. In 1930, Route 60 was paved. The road became Desert Center's main street. The Ragsdale had already opened a cafe, a gas station, and a towing service. And now they had Route 60 going through the town. The cafe got a new sign and they were open 24 seven. After 30 years of running Desert Center, Steve retired to a mountain cab in 1950 and his son Stanley took over the running of the business. The 70s brought many changes to Desert Center and the Ragsdale family. In 1972, Interstate 10 replaced Route 60 and Desert Center became an exit off I-10. In 1977, Steve Ragsdale died. Stanley planted some palm trees next to the exit to get people's attention. In December of 1999, Stanley Ragsdale died at the age of 84. His will went into probate and his family didn't agree on the future of Desert Center. The people came until they didn't. In 2012, after 78 years of being open, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, they closed with a simple sign on the door, closed temporarily for building maintenance. In November of 2019, most of the small things at Desert Center were sold off. In July of 2021, the property was auctioned off for six and a quarter million dollars. What's there now? Well, if you pull off the exit, you'll find the remains of the school closed in 1983. There's a large junkyard of cars that never left Desert Center. And about those palm trees that Stanley planted. No one watered them after he died, and the palm trees died also. Chuckawalla Raceway was built in 2010 and is considered to be, by many, to be Southern California's premier road course. You can go racing in your motorcycle or car for a fee. We wanted to check it out, so we took a quick run around the track. Also in the area is the Colorado River Aqueduct. It's 242 miles long and was completed in 1941 by the Metropolitan Water District of Southern California. The water comes from Lake Havasu and is delivered to Southern California cities by a series of pumping stations. Lake Tamaris is a 55 plus member owned mobile home park and resort. It even has a nine hole golf course. There's also a solar panel farm right near. They produce power for the area. Trucks and cars are speeding past the Desert Center exit. What does the future hold for Desert Center? There has to be a reason for people to get off the exit at that highway. Who knows what it might be?